Hey everybody, Bill here. Hey, welcome to uh, mid-January already. Time goes by pretty darn fast. I've been doing a lot of uh, detail scenery on the second section of my switching layout. A lot of uh, debris. Uh, what's kind of interesting, I think, maybe, is that all of the scenery that I do I use basically what you see here. You know, I've got uh, full strength glue in the big bottle, 50% glue in the little one. I use burnt grass, uh, some sifted real dirt, uh, some clump foliage, uh, different shades of ballast, different grades for depending upon what I'm going to do with it. I've got uh, a bag of some uh, kind of just green small clump and then uh, fine uh, Woodland Scenics Turf uh, Earth Color. From all of that, as well as then uh, some twigs, uh, a little bit of rocky sand for other areas, that's what I do for everything. And uh, past uh, day or so, I uh, got back home from work, started working in this little area here, little uh, access road coming in between the factories. Uh, the asphalt has dried and cured and it's kind of gone to a soft gray color, which I like. I'll still uh, add some detail to it as we go. I uh, weathered the water tower, I uh, weathered some of the buildings that are in here. Uh, I've still got some details to add, pallets and just odds and ends around it for service work. Uh, what I've just done in the past couple of minutes is I've added what's probably going to be maybe my sole water feature. I've got, uh, or I kind of cut a little gully. Uh, you can see on both the right and left sides of the gully, uh, I modeled uh, like clay pipe, uh, kind of poking through. Uh, I got uh, some Walther's uh, scenic details for cattails. Uh, put in some along the creek or the, the little drainage way, however you want to look at it. I'm going to add more uh, once the water cures out. Probably going to add maybe a little bit more depth to it to bring it up to the base of those. Those I've glued in, and I will add uh, a few more, just to kind of thicken it up right in that area. But uh, we've got to let that dry. So that's kind of what I've been doing here with this lately. You can kind of swing it around. Uh, I've got to do uh, a bit more work on it, getting down into the, the major areas for scenery. Still got to finish up around uh, the uh, coal yard, have to finish up in and around the fuel facility. Still have actually a fair amount of work to do around there. And then uh, over in the industrial area itself, I still got a lot of work to do. We'll be taking buildings off here in the near future and then uh, putting their windows, doors, doing painting on those, weathering the kits, uh, making it look like it's been here for a long time. With a lot of the buildings in place, late 1800s to probably through the 19 teens uh, for the most part. So they've been around for a while. I'm probably gonna try my hand at doing some interior detailing put uh, like uh, separations between the floors, add some lights, take some photographs and put them in as like scene drops. So if you're looking through the windows, uh, ultimately I'm hoping, you know, you're gonna be able to see some detail on the inside, uh, people working and just make it look interesting. Uh, and of course, add some switches so I can turn the lights on and off. Uh, just have some fun with it. I still have to paint and weather the uh, concrete area over here. I'm gonna do some things like I've heard it, uh, I think on uh, the Cousin Vinny and uh, Wilmer's Indian Head Valley Railroad, where a lot of modelers keep the old uh, uh, dulled X-Acto knives and use the back to etch. Uh, I'm gonna do that to put in uh, joints before I do a whole lot in here. I did add a nice little feature, I think, in between the buildings. Let's get it to focus here. Where that's uh, printed uh, cobblestone to kind of go under the arch for the building. Uh, this particular area of the industrial area is the uh, main offices. 
uh, kind of make it look a little fancier. And once I weather the concrete to a, a dull gray, grayish white, aged white, however it's going to look, it should be kind of interesting. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to run a few trains, catch that with the Polaroid Cube, just to kind of let you see some operation, and we'll uh, make it a short one.